What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Show. Today I'm a little excited man. We're going to be looking at the Super 7 Donatello Ultimate Action Figure. Let's just get into it man. Let's take a quick look at the box. So you got some artwork right here. You got this ma the man uh, manhole opening there with some uh, some graphics there. His stick there. His uh, ninja turtle head there. His name right here. Super 7 logo down there. Ages 14 plus and up. You got some. You got the ultimate um, insignia uh, emblem up there, logo, and then you do get the uh, Ninja Turtle artwork there, the old school. And then it just says uh, contents one figure with accessories, and that's about it. And then it, it basically it's just a sleeve, right? Just like the rest of the ultimate line. And there you have it, man. The box itself, man, is freaking dope, dude. I, I can't wait to display this guy. Uh, I, I already have Mike Michael and. Uh, Raphael on my D in my detail so I'm super excited to add this guy man that looks very cool so there's this artwork on the this box is like perfect man like I, I'm totally in love with it you got some um, wall deco here you got like tagging art and all that stuff this looks like a curb or it's supposed to be a sewer sewer right a, a sewer so you got you got a drain hole there this might this might be a pavement like a sidewalk like a slab or something but I'm most I'm pretty sure it's mostly it's supposed to represent a sewer right so you got some more stuff back there you can pause that and read that if you like but it says Donatello the turtles crazy genius you got Nickelodeon Super 7 down there and then you got your window right there man that's very cool dude I'm like I'm like super stoked man he's got he's come with a he's come with tons of accessories you've got um like gadgets you got food in there you got like handheld weapons you got his primary weapon two head sculpts ninja stars and then more hand interchangeable hands behind these weapons right here if you can see that also you do get the um vintage style weapons in the back the accessories but that's it of the bantering enough of the talk let's get it let's open this figure All right, here we got him out of the box, man. I gotta say, he's super cool. He looks really clean, very, like he looks almost perfect, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped now, man. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's get, let's get this going, man. Uh, so, head, the head sculpt, man, very nice, man. I'm digging it. This figure alone is great. It's a, uh, it's a must grab if you're a Ninja Turtle fan. I grew up liking Ninja Turtles, but as I got older, I strayed away. Before we get crazy and get into anything else, let's look at the sculpting. This figure is 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 fire, man. I'm definitely loving it. From the shell to the head to the arms to the legs to the knee pads to the, the his chest, his his uh, his belt and all that good stuff. Where his his his, his bandolier is. I don't I don't know what you want to call that, but where his weapons basically mount on on top of. I'm definitely loving, it, man. So the head sculpt, man. You got the headband right here, and this is his action face, I guess, his like um, his emotion, uh, his action head, because it does come with another head sculpt, so that's really cool. Um, this one's more like a vanilla pose, more serious, like he's watching, you know, they're watching over the city or something, and this one's more like action, or it's supposed to be more uh, nostalgic. I'm not sure which one, either or. I'm still, I'm still happy. I'm still grateful that we get. Um, interchangeable uh, heads so i'm definitely digging that man and then the sculpting on his chest is very nice his arms is nicely sculpted you can see the veins on his arms that's really cool the sculpt the these little elbow pads are really nicely sculpted too man they got you got crevices in there and all kinds of lines it's nice it's a really good great detail also his um his wrist cuffs right his wristbands um I guess that's what you want to if you want to we will call it that but you can see his veins on his forearms too is all his mus muscles popping out and it's, and it's all over the arm also that's really really nice man it's a nice touch um you got some more um like structure here going like you got more uh texture on his fist yeah his fingernails are also a different shade of green that's very cool man that's a nice touch it looks very realistic um his and then on for, we'll, we'll touch on the paint as we go on the sculpting uh you got some black on the on this band right here on his weapon harness and then the d is yellow and all this is nicely sculpted man i'm digging that you got some yellow on the d and then his um chest pe chest plate i will call it that is actually like a yellow 
I want to say, like an orange maybe, yellow, but it's got like a dry brush, right? It's got like some, um, like some wash, like some reddish or orange wash on it. So that's very nice, man. It gives it, so basically that what you see on camera right now, that's what, you, what you're going to see in person, like in hand. Like that's, it, that looks really cool, man. I'm digging it. And then in the inside right here, it's like a different shade of green. It's like a softer, um, it's, it's got to be like a, a softer layer to him. You know what I mean? So it's probably more, uh, more organic, like more, uh, what's the word? It's more like, more like, um, delicate tissue you know a different type of tissue and uh, so i guess that's why they went with a different color but that's that's really nice man because you got some sculpting in there you got some like crevices down there and all that good stuff so that's really nice and then the shell's nicely sculpted man that's very nice it's like a dark sea sea blue and he's got like um like some like damage on it you can see that like some slashes on there like some carvings you got one here too as well another one here so you got like five six slashes on there man so that's really cool and like i said previously like th all this is very cool man I'm really digging the whole his whole harness this is really cool it's it's awesome man it's amazing you got some more sculpting some more um texture down here on his legs you can see his muscles like like it's very cool man you got some wrinkles here above his kneecaps and the uh his knee his knee pads are actually very nice too nicely sculpted and you got detail in there too like that's very cool i'm like i'm like so happy and then you got some more green on the nails right there that's really cool and then the foot's nicely sculpted too man it's not just like some plain plastic flat surfaces you know what i mean you got like a lot of sculpting from literally from the toe to the top of his head his teeth are nicely sculpted nicely painted he got a white there um the eyes also one is like higher than the other and then both both sides of his mouth are like sculpted differently now let's talk let's talk about the articulation head wise he can spin 360 he can look up he can look down um i think it's just a ball joint a ball joint or some of some sort uh, i can't really i don't know if you guys can see that but the basically you just pop the head off right so yeah it's a ball joint and then you can just swap the heads if you want to you know what let's do that real quick and we're gonna look at the accessories too but I might as well change the head so you guys can see the different look you guys see. Like, look at that, man. I'm in love with this figure. Like, this is my favorite. Like, just from the looks, right? Like, the appearance of the figure, how it looks. Donnie is probably my favorite. But outside of that, Leo is my favorite turtle. But Donnie looks awesome. He looks very nice, man. He just looks great, dude. Like, and, you know, he's, he's smart, man. Like, I, I, I wonder how many people prefer Donnie. Like, I wonder how, if Donnie has more fans than out of all the turtles <laughs> but um yeah so arms are on a ball hinge joint also they spin 360 even though the shell's sticking out right there a little bit it's not flush here so that's really cool you do get some 360 motion swivel at the bicep you can spin that 360 uh single jointed elbow you can you can get, you get some decent range of motion there you know what i mean so you know like th these are not super articulate but they do articulate like you can't like they're not like a SH figure or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like you are limited in certain uh, ranges, range of motion. You got a wrist joint, spins 360. Uh, I think you can, oh yeah. So you can rock it, right? You can rock it up, you can rock it down. So that's really cool, man. Um, the chest and the torso, there's no articulation there. You do get a swivel. There's a joint, swivel joint, right at the, lower torso of the waist so you could spin them 360 and the legs are on bald hinge joints so you can kind of like you know move them around you can get you can get some pretty decent high kicks or some like you know flying kicks that would be that would be cool single jointed knees you get an ankle rocker knee uh ankle joint you can spin that 360 so that's really nice man you can get some 360 motion you can really put you know take that motion to town like you can post do a lot of stuff with him man like get him in different stances and whatnot see that it, it just stands on its own i didn't even try like that's 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 amazing i'm i'm i'm, I'm sold but yeah man let, let, let's take a look at the accessories now all right now let's start doing the accessories man like i said previously he does come with two ninja stars and he does come with these handheld um daggers and uh, blades and whatnot so that's part of this these accessories right that's well that's 
uh, in a, like half of them, and then he, and then he does come with his two sticks, his signature weapon, and then he does come with an, an additional head sculpt. Uh, we already seen this head in, uh, earlier in the video, and he does come with a slice of pizza, pepperoni and cheese, yum. And he does come with these um, these kind of devices or s cell phones, transmitter gadgets. He can call his friends and um, meet up Casey Jones and go get some slice of pizza at Blondie's or something. But yeah, man. So that's it for the accessories. Now let's get into some size comparisons. Here I've got uh, three different um, lines of figures, right? Uh, toy brands. Um, here I've got them next to a deceased Deathstroke. These are uh, DC Essentials, right? I think, I believe, toy line. And these stand about seven inches tall. And then here we got them next to, compared next to a um, Black Series Loyalist Mandalorian from the, I think this is a Clone Wars feature, right? He's featured in Clone Wars. Here I have him next to the vintage carded um, Cyborg Spidey. So he stands a little bit under Spidey, man, which the, those two actually scale well. I'm actually digging the way that they look next to each other, man. Maybe a regular Spidey would look awesome next to Turtles. That will be a cool, a cool crossover. Let's uh, lay out his accessories. So those that's his accessories and whatnot. And there you have it, man. But that's it for the video. Hope you've enjoyed. Leave some comments. Drop some. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, man. Um, catch me on the next one. Peace out.